Okay, let's move on to allocating overhead. So when will we do um, allocation of overhead? And there's multiple methods based really on what you're trying to achieve. Um, in some cases, we want to uh, allocate classes, locations, or customers. I mean, there's multiple things that we would want to allocate. And allocation is when we have, for example, a profit and loss by class or a profit and loss by location or a profit and loss by customer. And we want uh, anything that's going into overhead or that has no class to now be split evenly or maybe with some sort of formula back into each of those classes or locations or customers, whatever it happens to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up an overhead class where we should allocate all the expenses that we really don't know what class to send it to. Or in this case, if it was customers, it would be an overhead customer and that sort of thing. Then we're going to uh, record all the financial activities to that actual overhead class. And then we're going to use a journal entry at the end of the week, month, quarter, whenever it is that you want to make these allocations. And we're going to move the transactions uh, from the overhead class to any of these specific classes, and we're going to have a zero net effect to our financial statements. So let me show you an example of, of that what that would look like. So we, we're looking at a profit and loss on the screen that has an overhead class uh, at the end, and it has some numbers there. And we want to effectively do is move that information from overhead down to each individual category, whether it's a class or a customer job or a location. In this case, location is a little bit harder because uh, we can do location by line. Um, but uh, in the case of class and, cu and customer name, that's pretty simple. So what you would do is do an actual journal entry that moves the balances from one account and moves it to the other. And then you pick the class or the customer name, whatever it is that you're trying to move that to. So you can finally see a report that has a zero balance on that overhead class. So let's do an example. I'm going to run a profit and loss by customer. So I'm going to click on profit and loss by customer. And we'll do the example of the customer. And then as we can see here that we have for last year, we have all of our uh, repairs and maintenance to uh, no customer, says that's not specified, and all of our subcontractors to no customer. Let's assume for a second that we have two customers that we want to split both of those expenses to. So simply what we would do is we create a journal entry. So I'm going to go to quick create and click on journal entry. And then let's say we're going to do this as of last year. And we're going to start by using repairs and maintenance. And we have subcontractors. Those are the two. So the first thing we want to do is we want to debit out those uh, dollar amounts. Now, I don't remember the exact dollar amount, so let me hit uh, save here real quick. And let me look at this again. So it's 9578.90 and 56500. Uh, let me copy this. It'll probably be easier when it comes down to do the transaction. So I'll go back to the transaction here. And let me uh, see what the number is. So we're going to credit 9578.90. And then we're going to credit here 56500. Then what we're going to do is we're going to enter um, a second line here. That's going to be the split to half to one customer. So I'm going to type in the same account, repairs and maintenance here. And then I'm going to take half of the first number, 9578.90 uh, divided by 2. And we're going to send this to customer AAA towing. And then I'm going to take the other half. So 4789.45. And I'm going to send it to a different customer altogether. I'll send it to American Land. Perfect. So I'll do the same thing with my second line here, subcontractors. And I'll take half of that number. So 56,500 divided by two and send that to my first customer. And then I'll take the second line here, subcontractors, and I'll send this to my other active customer. So this is typically something that we do when we want to take all these expenditures that we're going to one customer job or one class. And at the moment, we didn't know where to put it in this particular case. I'm, still, I'm bringing it from unspecified, but if I had originally entered them into an overhead 
customer job or an overhead class, I would bring it uh, from that from that customer job or that class. In this case, I'm bringing it from not specified. So I'm going to click on save and close and then go back and pull up my report. And as you can tell on the third column, notice that there's zero numbers throughout. My net income is exactly the same, but now we're going to see our um, repairs and maintenance being sent to each of the each of the categories. Now I'm going to check real quick just to make sure I entered uh, all the numbers here correctly. I may I could have missed one. Oh, there it is. I, I missed one in the process. There you go. So make sure I put it on the right category because if not, it's not going to work. So let me go back and pull up that profit and loss by cost. There you go. Okay, so that is now where it's supposed to be. So we have uh, customer one with half of the expenses and customer two with the other half. Now in this particular case, I chose to do half and half. Of course, some businesses have other complexities where maybe it's not as straightforward as just splitting it across two customers. You may have 20 customers and you may want to split it evenly. And some people would even create special formulas to figure out which customer the percentage should go to. So that's really uh, up to the specific needs of the business to figure out uh, which is the best choice.